guys, and welcome to, uh, I don't know what to call it, but anyways, I made a video on this, but I didn't save, don't know why, but, anyways, what happened? No more Rainbow Six, I'm sorry, if you didn't know what happened for, for, for two days, I believe, for essentially 48 hours, probably a bit over 48 hours, on everyone's ready to install, who had an Xbox One, I believe, and I'm not saying this could have just been a glitch on my part. And you Xbox One users, let me know if this had uh, happened to you. Alright, let me know if you saw it, because I'm wondering if this was just a one-time thing that happened to me, or if it happened to everyone, or what happened. <laughs> I am, for this situation, I'm just going to assume that it happened to everyone. So, no more Rainbow Six, just letting you know that. But, there's other two ways what could have happened. One... They wanted this to happen. As in, it wasn't a glitch, but they actually maybe cut a deal with Microsoft to put it on everyone's ready to install list. And if you didn't know, you just had to install it, uninstall it, and then reinstall it to uh, play it. The full game. I'm pretty sure they just did this as a giant demo. That's a very big possibility. They could have just done it to gain a lot more publicity by every for everyone who plays on the Xbox One. One of the platforms, obviously, Rainbow Six is on. So, no! But, as a total, the game was awesome. I loved it. So, I'm gonna miss playing it. But, then again, I mean, they easily could have banned everyone who had the game technically illegally. And, and said that they were pirating copies of the game, meant that they were... If you don't know what pirating means, it means that you're taking, I believe... Essentially what it is, is in the video game world at least, it's it means that you're taking video games without paying. And I don't mean like breaking into a store with a gun and stealing the video game, but I mean like downloading them without paying. Not sure how they do it, but that's what they're called. And some games have huge ways of getting past this, like in Game Dev Tycoon... Where your where your company is destined to fail, and the reason being that if you had a pirated version of the game, what would happen is everyone would start pirating your games, so you'd stop getting money, so you'd fail, and your company would completely fail because no one was actually buying the game, everyone was just pirating it. So that was a pretty funny way of doing it, but yeah. Personally, I love that, but back to it. So, essentially, if you uninstall it and then go to re ready to install, it's not going to be there. I already checked, and it wasn't there. I don't know. Do you guys think that this was just a glitch in the system, that they had to work for two days and put it in the update? Or, instead, do you think that they meant to do it to get more publicity? Let me know in the comments, and... Obviously, this means that there's no more Rainbow Six. I'm sorry because I had a lot of fun in this 48-hour time period. And you guys had some fun with the hour of content I provided. A bit over, actually. So, essentially, if you watch all the videos, it'd be equal to a movie. Yeah! Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Click.